Hi and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the build of the F550. This video is from my early experiences of using a gimbal, which gave me much better photo shots, but I also had to balance the center of gravity, so I'm going to go through that as well. Unlike the Phantom Crafts, it does need a little bit of modification to fit on the F550. Now before I had the gimbal, I mounted the GoPro on top of the craft. You could equally put it underneath, but either way, you either get the propellers in view or you get the legs in view. So whilst you do get some great views, it's not ideal because you can still see part of the craft in shot. When I first got the gimbal, I mounted it directly underneath the craft uh, using a makeshift piece of Perspex, which I actually discarded before I took a photo of. But as you can see, you still get some shot of the arms and the legs in view, which is not ideal. So whilst the video is absolutely perfect in terms of being level, I still got the unwanted arms and legs in view. So after a lot of shopping around and research, I ended up buying this, which is uh, about 18 pounds. It was very light, very easy to install, and also easy to attach the gimbal to, just with a, an extra couple of holes on the fiberglass plate that came with it. As you can see, this gives the DJI quite a lot of clearance off the ground, which also gives a lot of space for the gimbal. So I could actually have the gimbal lower down if I needed to, but this so far produced quite good results. So here you can see the first test. Obviously you can just about see the left leg in view, so it must have been slightly angled to the left. But overall, it's cleared most of the unwanted arms and legs out of the camera view. So if you were to crop this video, as you can see here, you get a much better, much smoother video without any arms or legs in shot. Then you can either go for the cinematic widescreen view shown here, or you can just scale the whole thing to fill the screen as shown here. Either way, you get a beautifully smooth video with no arms and legs. Now for the gimbal itself, the H3 3D is absolutely superb, it couldn't get much better. You can see the amount I'm rocking here and the gimbal stays absolutely perfectly still. So now if you take a look at the footage that you get whilst making such movements, yes you might get some of the arms in shot at some point when you're moving about so extremely, but under normal flights you're not going to be doing this, and in any case you can crop the video. So let's imagine you've just taken this of a beautiful landscape, it was really windy and you've got the arms and legs in view just a little bit like this. Watch how we can crop the video and make it perfectly smooth. So just a couple of other things to mention. You can program the transmitter so that you can turn the camera down like this and then turn it to back face the front and also a set mid midway point to angle down like this. I'll do that in another video and how to set that up on the transmitter. I set it to use the VR dial in the middle like this so you've got forward, down and the midway point is an angled view. Now the centre of gravity is also very important with the weight of the gimbal at the front you need to counterbalance with the battery at the back. This is extremely important so that it flies properly and doesn't wear the battery out by struggling to keep level. So I've just stacked a couple of weights either side, standing it on the legs until I get that balance point. If the battery is slightly further forward or slightly further backwards, it tips forwards or backwards. So rearrange the battery slightly. So if I just demonstrate, if I move the battery slightly further forwards, you'll see that actually now it tips forwards because the weight of the gimbal is pulling it forwards. Even if I try to keep it level, it still wants to tip forwards. So then I need to rearrange the battery just slightly so that it's on that balance point. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you get this balanced center of gravity, the easier the craft will fly and it won't drain the batteries quite so much. Equally, if I show you now I've moved it back slightly, you'll see that it tips backwards. Now this is no good either because you want that center of gravity to be in the middle so that it's not fighting to stay level forwards or backwards, be it altitude hold or GPS hold. So you find that point and I found it and lined up with uh, the edge of the DJI and struck the battery and it gives me a perfect balance every time. But do use something either side to test, don't try and hold it because it's uh, not very accurate. If you stand it on something else it gives you a fairly accurate test. Thanks for watching and thanks also to Build Your Own Drone for being so helpful in helping me to get this set up. So please do subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll be bringing more videos to you soon.